Hey, hello, Scrum Masters. In this week's main lecture video, I describe the daily, weekly, and monthly rhythms along with 11 habits. Right now, I'm going to drill into one of those habits, which I call the ABC team. Whenever I do this habit, I remember about the A team show. This is a show that, if you live in the United States and you're approximately my age, was very popular back in the 1980s. So remember that the idea behind the ABC team is to list the people who you want to be talking to on a daily basis, that's your A team, on a weekly basis, that's your B team, and on a monthly basis, that's your C team. And then you make that part of your daily, weekly, and monthly rhythm. So I'm going to start off with my A team. This is for a recent consulting assignment that I had at edX.org. So my A team consisted of my boss. It consisted of the product owner. There was only one in the entire organization. It consisted of several people on each team. So I'm just going to write down their names. So I have a total of six people on my A team. These are people that I want to make sure I'm talking to on a daily basis. Now let me go to the B team. So on the B team is a vice president that I spoke to on an almost weekly basis. There's the head of HR. And there's also a recruiter. And then finally, my C list. My C list is always a little bit harder for me because I speak to these people so infrequently. So on the C list was the CFO and the head of the organization. And actually now I'm remembering a couple of other people who are on my B list. One of them was the chief scientist. And then a set of folks who are in the content area. So I have a total of six people on my A list, five people on my B list, and three people on my C list. Okay. So what I do now is that I simply make that part of my daily task board or my daily system. I personally use GTD, getting things done, and I use a piece of software on my iPad called Orchestra. And so what I would do is that I would just enter a new task, and Orchestra has this capability where it can create a repeating task. So for my A team, I put in that entire list, okay, one person per item, and I set it to be a recurring daily task. For the B list, it's a recurring weekly task, and for C list, it's a recurring monthly task. So that's how I create my A, B, and C teams, and how I make it part of my daily, weekly, and monthly rhythm.